Everyone has something they're willing to fight for. Could be family, friends, your beliefs, your home. Doesn't matter who you are, there's just some things you have to protect. But what do you do when the world fights back? Guess I know now. Wish I could go back in time and tell myself. But I was not ready to hear it. Honorable Judge Maya Bird presiding in the case of people of the state of New York versus Alfred Hallam. Defendant charged with attempted grand larceny. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I see. Officer, please remove her cuffs. Now, before we begin, perhaps you should reacquaint yourself with your many previous encounters with the law. Haven't seen this in a while. Not my best angle. Nothing like a trip down memory lane. Why are you here, Frey? Grand larceny? Is that who you really are? No, it's just... I needed the cash for... <sighs> Never mind. Sooner or later, you're going to have to start taking accountability for your actions. Are you familiar with the Persistent Felony Offender Law, also known as the Three Strikes Law? Wait, you can't do that. I never hurt anyone. Just yourself. You have two previous felony thefts, and with this new one, your grand total will be three. This could put you away for a very, very long time. You have so much potential. I, I, I can do so much more with my life. I I I'm a smart girl with a bright future. I was going to say you have so much anger and resentment in you, I'm not sure you'll ever amount to anything at all. Truth hurts. But, in the holiday spirit, I'm going to give you an early present. Try not to piss it away. I'm going to release you under the condition you serve 120 hours of community service. Thanks. You won't regret it. Next time you end up in front of me, I will not be as lenient. We clear? Good. You're free to go. Pray. One more thing. Happy almost birthday. It's not too late to start using your gifts to help others. That was close. That judge might have just saved my ass. Won't get that lucky again. Hey, excuse me, your phone. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. No worries, happens to all of us. You saved my life, seriously. Happy holidays. Um, happy holidays. I should get back to Homer. Poor girl needs her dinner.
I need to go straight home. find you? Hey, uh, uh, Lisa. Lisa? Really? I thought she was Lisa. That's Chrissy! Huh. Well, in my defense, you don't really look like a Lisa. Uh, oh, where is it? Mm. Oh, I don't have it, all right? There were complications. Not like I wanted to get caught stealing the car, but here we are. Uh. We don't like complications. Mm. You're running out of chances. Yeah, I've been hearing that one a lot today. Get the car back. It's not that easy. It's been impounded. I'm not so special about this car anyway. It's none of your damn business. Our boss, Mr. Giggin, is very unhappy. So unless you get it back, one of us is gonna be in a lot of pain. Do I get to pick? <laughs> Keep joking. You will leave your body in this fucking alley, and I promise you, no one is gonna miss you. No. Okay. Okay, fine. We'll just tell your boss, Mr. Chicken. Giggin. 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 All right. Gig. Gig. Quick. Gig. Giggin. Quick. Gig. I, I just tell him. I, I I need some more time, but but for now, here's some collateral. Turning back now. <clears throat> uh, oh, you okay? Oh shit, I, I have to go. I I'm so sorry. I gotta find a way out of here. Maybe it's safer to go through the alley. Homer must be waiting for me. Better get inside before I freeze.
Home sweet hell. My favorite kicks. I could stare at you guys all day. She doesn't like this, but it's all I have. that The Holland Tunnel, site of my folks' great disappearing act. Who leaves a newborn baby on the street? Well, at least it wasn't the Queen's Midtown Tunnel. That would have been an awful last name. Curiouser and curiouser, cried Alice. Wish I could find that rabbit hole and tumble away to Wonderland. Finally, I can start over. Took long enough, though. Sorry I'm late, I know. You miss me? Oh, well thank you, but my birthday isn't for another few days. Tell you what, I almost forgot. 
been so busy recently. Oh, well, you know, important things to do. Fighting court, slaying dragons. I'll let you in on a secret, but I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> Real big deal. Everybody needs me. We are getting out of this city, Homer. Away from the assholes, the garbage, the cops. I, I thought it was just enough to get us started. Yeah. I promise we'll go somewhere that loves cats. Even ones like you. I just can't wait for clean air, bright skies. No more chases, no more cops. No more fights. <sighs> Tomorrow. One more sleep, and we are out of here. <sighs> Can't wait to be in the other place with this. Finally, the blaze that engulfed the abandoned building in the Hell's Kitchen district of Manhattan has been ruled as arson. Luckily, no one was harmed in the fire. The FDMY believe it was set by some local gang members. The suspects are still at large. Pray. What happened to you? You look like hell. Are you allergic? What? To cats. Are you allergic to cats? No, I, I love cats, but are you in trouble? Good. She likes wet food, the flaky kind, not pate. She needs a warm place to sleep. Maybe a lap every once in a while. And she needs a bath, but good luck with that. Frey, what's going on? Her name is Homer. Promise me you'll look after her. Promise.
Thank you. What are you doing, Frey? The right thing. I need some time to... to sort some stuff out. But I'll come back for her. It just... might take a while. Frey, wait. If you're in trouble, I can help you, Frey. Happy holidays. All right. Homer's safe. Now what am I gonna do? Full circle. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Mom. No, oh, I'm better than that. No, I'm gonna fix things. Get Homer back. Finally get out of... It's beautiful. Nope, not getting in that way. Must be another way. <laughs> Definitely no one in here. Seriously? Who would just leave this? Where am I? What's happened to me? The 
Damn, that is a serious draft. There. I'm technically not theirs. Well, not what you would call us, anyway. I swear to God, asshole, show yourself! Show myself? I've shown. I'm showing. I can't get more showed. Show myself in tears. Where are you? Right here, at the end of your arm. The thing that you so fruitlessly tried to remove. Oh, hello, yes. So oh, perhaps you're smarter than you look. No. Yes. N no. Yes. You, the one talking to me right now, are this... Cuff? Cuff? It's a bit reductive, isn't it? Cuff? Gauntlet, maybe. Vambrace. Oh, Vambrace. Vambrace. Yeah, no, it's definitely Vambrace. No, no, no. This is batshit bananas! Ah! And yet, it's the truth! You stop your hurting me now! Seriously? No. But what you're doing is completely futile. How is this happening? Well, what were you doing before this was happening, hmm? I was... Doesn't matter. Still here. Whoever is doing this, stop. This is one sick joke. I am out of here. You can't run away from me. I am literally attached to you. Why don't we settle down a bit and talk about ourselves? Talk about our interests in life, perhaps. I am not hearing this. This is all a bad dream. Be careful not to trip on anything. You can also see things? This cannot be fucking real. <sighs> Listen to me, Frey. How the hell do you know my name? We are bonded. Bonded? What do you mean, bonded? Why is this happening? This is... No. On bond. On bond now. As you can see, you're stuck with me, and I with you. And only you can hear me. Stop! Stop talking! This is completely insane! Frey, slow down. You need to listen to me. No, what I need is to figure out how to get back. I, I thought I wanted out. I was wrong. I was in a bad place. Well, this place might be worse, depending on how you look at it. What do you mean? Quiet. What? Hide. Is that a motherfucking dragon? Shh. Don't let it see you. place as well. With that thing out there? I don't think so. I'm sure the creature is far away by now, and besides... What? You won't last long without anything to eat. Fine. And how exactly do you plan on getting out? I believe climbing that wall might be our best option. 